Hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX Avalanche. AVEX had, has moved up a little bit in the last few days here, but overall I think, um, yeah, we are also here at a tipping point now. So what is going on with AVEX? We can see that in my view, we've done here an ABC correction. Well, I think we have done. The question is though, is the wave C complete or not? Um, my way, my view still would be that we're going to see further downside from here. Um, together with Bitcoin dropping when it then drops, you know, it, it obviously first with Bitcoin, as I said in, in the Bitcoin videos, do expect a little bit of upside for Bitcoin, what we are seeing at the moment. And um, typically in this period, then altcoins are moving up as well, which is why AVEX is moving up and a lot of other altcoins are moving up together, you know, at the moment as well. Um, with AVEX, it is also moving similar to Solana, you know, similar to Ethereum currently here in a channel to the downside and generally what you can say that, that the cryptos that have not lost the 200 day line you know and there are for example some of the metaverse cryptos haven't they are doing fairly well at the moment because they are pushing here higher they basically haven't been in this you know long-term downtrend if you if you lose the 200 day line the 200 day moving average then it's um, a much more bearish picture AVEX didn't lose it or hasn't lost it yet, but it has lost quite a bit um, in value in the last few days and weeks. And, uh, you know, for everybody who's been following me on my buy and sell orders, that's great because we did, or I did sell here or posted my sell order at $124. That was fantastic at the top. And as we reached here lower levels, um, I did start to dollar cost average in, I think with the last one at $57, you know, I think so. Uh, I would need to double check. Um, when it was triggered. I think it was very close here to the low. And since then, we've also moved up a little bit, uh, which is great. But I don't think this is already the confirmed breakout. You know, yesterday I had a comment saying, well, I thought we go down with AVEX is now going up. Well, first of all, that can, of course, always happen, happen because all I tell you here is what I see in the charts and my opinion. Now that could be wrong. But um, just because I say something is going down or is continuing to go down and is going in this area here, it never means it goes down in a straight line. And I always try to emphasize that these retracements, these corrections um, are expected as you have in an uptrend corrections to the downside, because otherwise you're just getting overboard. You have to have it the other way around as well. In a downtrend, you have to have corrections to the upside to bring the oversold indicators up. As you can see here on the four hour chart, Avalanche was oversold. I think I did talk about that in the previous video. Since that, since then it has moved up. So you had the expectation of a shorter term uptrend before we going down further from here. As you can see, as we hit support, there was really limited possibility to just drop straight away. It was kind of logical to first move up and then possibly get another sell off here, possibly into the $40 area. But again, this is not guaranteed. Um, and as I said, I didn't watch the previous video, but I think so. You know, it hit the 0.618 FIP level, which is a very important Fibonacci level at $62. I think I said in the last video because it did lose that temporarily, that the chances are very high that we're going to go to the next FIP level at $40, the 0.786. And I still, um, I still stick to that. I still would, um, yeah, I still believe that it's gonna happen because I do also believe there will be another sell-off for Bitcoin. Something like that here is expected in a strong downtrend. I mean, look at that. We had it before, whoops, we had it before here for Avalanche. We had these moves up here. You had a move up here and we were still staying within the channel. Now, it would be noteworthy if we break the channel to the upside. Bear in mind, this can also always be a fake out. But what is also noteworthy is that you are making higher lows here. Well, we did that here as well. So, you know, it's not like we haven't done it before and still broke down then. But you're making a higher low, a higher low. And this is a W pattern with a second low being higher than the previous one. Another W with a second low higher than the previous one, which is good but it doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna go up from here. Um, it just, I think in this sort of time frame, it is looking interesting. And um, this can, of course, be a reversal pattern. You know, this could mean we're going to go up, 
But in that scenario, Bitcoin, in my view, would have to complete its correction as well. It's hard to believe that Avalanche will just push up while Bitcoin is going to do another sell-off. And I'm not saying that Bitcoin couldn't, potentially could have completed the sell-off already. I don't think so. But everything is always possible. Now in that scenario, yeah, Avalanche could reverse here. It hit the 0.618 FIB level, which is, I think, the minimum of a correction of that sort. So um, I think if we say well, right, yellow is what the correction needs to do in order to move up, then yeah, you know, you can say, right, it has done what it needs to do. It's come to the 0.618. But um, I think what most altcoins are doing in the current environment is they come down to at least this 0.786 FIP level, which would here be at uh, $38, $39. And I still think Avalanche will get there in one more sell-off. It doesn't need to get there. And that is why I started to dollar cost average in around this price area. I think the first was above $70 um, so that I'm equipped and prepared for all scenarios. And that's ex exactly what I try to achieve with my buy and sell orders, buying the major dips and selling at the uh, swing highs as we did here or I did here at 124 and everybody who chose to follow me on Discord, on Telegram um, was able to take profits here pretty much at the peak and is now buying the dip and uh, not just anywhere, but at these key levels where a reversal can be expected. Um, and then in the long run, in the next major wave up, profit taking is going to take place at the swing high. So at the moment for me, it's not the time for selling. It's time for buying. I'm not interested. If you think it where, where the potential for a next wave up might be, which will be at around $230, you know, 285. This is sort of what I would expect for the next wave up. Um, I'm not interested in buying at 60 and selling at 70. It's for me not worth it with all the hassle, all the taxes, everything that's related to it. I just want to buy the significant swing lows and sell at the significant swing highs, have a bit of patience. And that way, with combining it with dollar cost averaging in, um, you're pretty much happy both ways. You know, if it goes down further, the next buy order will trigger. If it's going to go up from here, the buy orders did already trigger and the ones that haven't, that money will just be used for the next dip or for other cryptos, you know. So that's my strategy. It's gone really well and it just keeps the emotion out. It keeps you calm, you know, because um, however, you still need to believe in the crypto market. Yeah, because otherwise you probably wouldn't invest in it. Um, and you need to be, um, you know, thinking, believing that the crypto market overall is going to go up, uh, which I think it is, which also the Elliott waves confirm that we are generally in an uptrend still. Just here within that uptrend, we have a quite a significant correction, which is typically for a wave two. So next key supports, as I said here, we've got the $62 level, of course, that's the 0.618 FIP level. We did break that previously, but we reclaimed it. Um, if we lose that again, which I think we will at some point, then you're gonna get to $39, the 0.786 FIP level, and the lowest support of that target area is $25, the 0.887 FIP level. If we move further from here, further up, we are pretty much here at the $73 level tipping point. That's the peak of the, um, or the high of that, uh, the resistance level of this channel, yeah? So if we push above here, we would break the channel. Bear in mind, that could always be a fake out. And then the next FIP level we need to get through is $78 and then $94.60. All right, hopefully you liked the update about Avalanche. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And as always, if you'd like to join as a channel member, see my own buy and sell orders, join a great community with, I think, above 750 members now, nearly 800, then yeah, maybe consider to join as a channel member and you can do that on my website. Um, and the link for that is in the description or you can do it here on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.